There's so many projects going on at Mapperton right now that I get lost in how many are happening. Okay, this, you, okay, so now in order to get the ball back up, we gotta put all this scaffolding up. And then obviously once we got this one up and the ball up, we're just gonna check that one as well mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. sure that. The one that's above Stephen's head right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> when we put it back, we're gonna to have to put it back the other way around. Yes, which would be. Just so that we can damage this part now, <laughs> having damaged that part. No, but the colors are lovely actually. Yeah. Okay, I'm not dressed appropriately for what I'm about to witness and what you're about to witness. I mean, you've been here every day that your hat has, has really aged because it's been here so long. Yeah, it was right? new when I started. <laughs> Can I get one of those hats here? <laughs> so it's the final reveal of the Obasan rug and she has done a brilliant job. Hi, Darren. Hiya. Hi. Okay. Please explain. There's so many projects going on at Mapperton right now that I get lost in how many are happening. But can you, by the way, everybody, this is Darren. You've seen him before because he's our main, uh, main stonemason. He's repaired the church tower, which is medieval. You repair everything here. <laughs> <laughs> the front of the house, the back of the house, the fountain court, the ponds, everything, don't you? Yeah, yeah we've touched yeah, on most of that. We've touched on most of that. Yeah. So. What my understanding was when I first was documenting this, it was a delivery truck ran into this, what do we call this? Yeah, this would be the gate pier. Yeah. The, the gate the pier. pier. Yeah. The gate pier. And the ball came off. And then yeah. the scaffolding came up. And then they were going to be able to get this half ton um, ball on yeah. top. But now, what has happened? <laughs> because <laughs> I didn't know, did we discover something else? Um, no. When they knocked the, um, the gate post and hit the ball, it pushed the, this column out of square. And right. obviously it was leaning over three inches. <gasps> so to put the ball back on top right. and make it safe to stay there was near impossible. So it had to be took all the way down to the ground and built back up. Oh my goodness. Um, few problems we've had was the Victorians have been here before and put a load of cement in, so it didn't come apart very well. Okay. And there was no footing underneath it. Oh, I can see that. And you've put that footing and in. And we've got to put a footing back in to make sure that it stays put. Right. Um, oh, my goodness. And building it back up. So this one is going up up level and true and plumb. Yep. Obviously, the ones that are around here, if you look, they've all got a slight lean on them. But yep. that's because they've not got a footing on them, I don't think. I see. So they, they do have a slight lean. I see. Yep. It's called the pier gate. I didn't yep. even know that. Yeah, I've gate. been here for 20 years. I had no idea. Yeah. So um, <laughs> basically, what we've done is we've had to take it all the way down. <gasps> and then building it all the way back up. That's the concrete that I've took out. Ah, You see, I see. and I will, I will put in small pieces of stone. Okay. Um, this is the bit that was a problem. You that see. was the bit that was a problem. problem. You see the Victorians okay. in cement, so. Right. Uh, so how, how old do we think that this pier gate is? Gate pier? Um, pier gate, how come I can't get this a, right? There's a marking pier... on the stone, which is 1846. <gasps> oh, can I get that, a photo yeah, of that? And that's the next one to go in. And oh. by all accounts, Lord Sandwich said, that's when the church was redone. In I 1846. See. So I the gate piers see. have been around since then. Since then, okay. Right, so where's that date? Can I have a little look? Yep. I'm obsessed with like dates because we're, oh, yes. And is that going to be hidden or are we going to be able to see nope. that? That basically, as you see that stone now, that's going to be Go coming right across there. here. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So this mm. is a big project. Um, I feel like this scaffolding has been, it's been up for a month. The yeah, scaffolding. it's been up for a month, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then obviously once we got this one up and the ball up, we're just going to check that one as well mm -hmm. to make mm -hmm. sure that... The one that's above Stephen's head right yeah. now? <laughs> <laughs> and um, just while we've got the scaffold here, we can do two jobs at once because yeah. obviously that one fell off quite easily. Yes, With yes. a little bit of a, a gentle tap from a courier Delivery van. Truck, yep. And mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to check that okay. one as well to be make sure that that doesn't fall off. Right. We've kept you really busy. <laughs> yes. <haven't> we? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're always here. But I mean, there's so much to do. Yeah. So this is just one of the major and many restoration projects that we have 
going on here at Matt Britton all of the time. As I mentioned before, um, the Aubusson rug in the drawing room, uh, in the Tudor drawing room, um, is it was in need of massive repair because of the footfall that had been going on for years and years from the visitors that were coming into the house. Now that we don't have visitors yet coming back into the house, this was a perfect opportunity for us to actually repair the Aubusson rug as well. And my mother-in-law has taken over that project with Doris. So you'll get an inside peek of the Aubusson being repaired as well. If you are enjoying this episode, please consider supporting this important part of England's heritage by becoming a patron at mappertonlive.com. We're in the drawing room at Mapperton, which is the most formal of the rooms that we sit in. And of course, because it's so formal, we don't sit in it nearly as much as we sit in other rooms. And I'm in here coming to talk to Doris Hewitt. Doris is a nationally known and absolutely lovely carpet restorer. And she's here restoring the Aubusson tapestry carpet. Doris herself comes from St. Gallen in Switzerland, speaks about five languages, and has probably repaired about how many thousand rugs, oh. do you think? <laughs> Hard to say. I don't know. I can't count them. <laughs> Um, including working with five other people to restore an early Axminster for a whole year in Saltram. I'm now going to go over to Doris and we're going to look at what she's doing. This is a big Aubusson, uh, which is on the floor, and my goodness, it's needed mending. Oh, yes. Doris, what are you actually doing there? Uh, so the carpet's been restored, I think, 20 years ago, hasn't yes, it? Yes, last part worked of it, yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, Very kindly by the NADFAS people. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. no, and um, it's been interesting seeing there's been different repairs done. Uh, but there's been lots of wear, so a lot more has gone now. And you can see how much wear there is. Yes. Look, yeah. I mean, it's appalling. And of course, every time anyone wears any high heels in yes, here, they go they straight go through. through. Yeah. Doris, what are all these sort of tails, so lamb's tails that you've got kind here? of the first thing I've done is putting it onto a linen, so backing, yeah. a new backing. And then these are called the warps, so the broken warps I have replaced. Uh, not all the broken warps, but where I feel it really needs, you know, that it's gone there, there is a big hole to build it up. Um, so that's the first thing, I replace the warps and then I do an infill stitch. So and you're replacing warps and then you're infilling across or down? Uh, I actually, it's just easier to work up. So and you're working on the, with on the, the warp, warp yeah. all the time? And I'm spacing it about, you know, five millimetres apart. Uh, would be lovely to do closer in the stitching, but You'd never end. <laughs> I'd be here forever. But these Aubusson are really interesting, aren't they? I mean, they come mm. from central France, Good. from yeah. uh, a village called Aubusson, which is on the Creuse River. Mm. Yeah. And apparently the Creuse was quite acid, and mm. so it helped the people of Aubusson to be able to get the grease out of the, out wall, of mm. of the wall. And then there was another village nearby called Felletin, which also used the name Aubusson and made these tapestries. But they didn't only make tapestries, did they? They made pile carpet. They piled carpet, yes. I've never actually worked on an Aubusson pile carpet. You've never worked on no, an Aubusson? No, I have worked on mm. flat, you know, the flat weaves. And the pile carpets about. were on vertical looms, presumably. Mm. And these were all um, stretched out on horizontal Frontal looms. Looms, yeah. And I think they worked. I'd how do you think they work? So they did the design rather than working, you know, on uh, mm. oriental carpets. You work in rows yeah. like that. While here they built up the design, and that's how come you've got the splits. So there the colours joined, you know, that some of them oh, have yes. come and done. And that's why you've done. got the splits, yeah. And then they over sewed yeah. them in the end, you know, joining them together. Doris, you know, it's all very well me looking at all your. Um, my rat's tails here. <laughs> but I know, they, they will disappear. They do look Carol. like rat's tails. I won't show, keep show me them a bit there. where you've actually finished doing I mean, it. I haven't, you know, nothing's completely finished yet, but I have worked on this area here, up oh, yeah, here, yeah. where it's all stitched down. And then, yeah, I have worked from the middle, and while I'm now working from the end, so I'm meeting 
in the middle. Which is exciting. <laughs> We're now catching up. So and also, this is, you've done this, haven't you? This one is an old repair from like 20 years ago, but when it's worn around the area, so I've done, you know, around the area, I have stitched here that was a really big hole i think we're going to have to have ask happened. people not to wear high heels in here you know uh yes but perhaps you know. and then let's go to this end because mm -hmm. this end really looks as it sort of should do without many, any repairs any and yeah. it's in pretty it, good state it's probably been under the settee i don't know well <laughs> you know, we have ch turned it from time to time about here yeah. but you do you definitely notice you know they're the most wear so the, the next been... time, we, we, when we put it back, we're going to have to put it back the other way around. Yes, which would be just yeah, so that we can damage this part now, <laughs> having damaged that part. No, but the colours are lovely. Actually, work, yeah. Well, you've had actually a break <laughs> over lockdown, haven't you, from it's, doing carpets? Yes, I did have a car. I called it my um, my Corona carpet. I did have a carpet at home for you know, which I probably worked on a few months on it. Not as you know, intense as I work here, but which was nice to have something. Of course, but I, you did I actually, I was, well, I was really hesitant to ask you if you would do this au oh. song because uh, I've always associated you with rugs and power mm, carpets. Yeah. Um, and I was so pleased when you said you'd really get, like to do it. And it's <laughs> no, thrown it you back in the deep end of carpet mending. Well, and we it's are kind of, I'm not used to doing eight hour days, yes. but. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I'm we're so no, delighted you're lovely. here. And it's a thank beautiful you so place to work. So. Oh, well, that is true. Really, and it's yeah. warm and it's mm. um, the, the views outside of the garden exactly, are lovely. Yeah. Mm, so no. thank you, Doris. And oh, actually, yeah. we're never going to say goodbye to you because no. <laughs> we never finish the amount of carpets that, are, that there are to thank do. Thank you, Caroline. Okay. Are you enjoying this episode? Please consider subscribing. Okay, I'm not dressed appropriately for what I'm about to witness and what you're about to witness either, but it's really exciting. Darren. Darren is putting on the ball. You've, you've, you've fixed, yep. restored, repaired the gate, gate, gate pier. pier. Yeah. <laughs> I always forget that. Okay, so what's happening now? Literally, we're just lowering it down the last few, few inches yeah. on the hoist. Okay. So the collar that we use for picking it up, yeah. we can make sure it's fixed now sort of thing. Okay. So basically, the last bit now, obviously, we've lifted it up from the floor. And now we're just literally just hung there, waiting yeah. for the glue to go off now. So literally, it's, it's seconds pending, you know what I mean? Okay, sec it's seconds pending. <laughs> then we're going to talk about Darren's hat. <laughs> okay, this is seconds pending, everybody. Yeah. So he's on, he's on the mark, and now he's just coming. Oh, yeah? He's just coming down. To its final resting place. To its final... So is there glue under there? What's there's under a there? there's a meter there's a stainless steel pin that goes through half through here, through here, yeah, and then through this stone uh -huh. and into the bottom. But Do you think am I allowed to come up there? Yeah, you can come oh, up and have a look. Great. I mean, I figured. So I've made my way up here in white trousers. I didn't know I was going to go up here, but it was the urge. I couldn't resist. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Darren, explain to me. You've hoisted this up. Yep. You put it here. And what's holding it on for not, from not falling down again? Um, basically, it's a stainless steel pin about the size of my finger. Yeah. Which goes in about six inches to eight inches into the bottom of this stone. Yeah. And it goes all the way through these two stones. Oh. Through that stone. Oh, my goodness. Right. So the last time, the reason it fell down is because when the truck hit the yeah. gate here, there was no... No, no. Fi well, there was a fixing <laughs> in there, and the fixing was six inches long. Okay, okay. So, so this there was is... only a fixing in the top. I see. This makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. So this is this is. We don't have to worry anymore if a truck no, hits it. Belt and braces, that sort of thing. You like say <laughs> it's it's overkill sort of thing. It's, so. it's right. We like overkill yeah. here. Oh my goodness! How long has this taken from start to finish? This mm, about a month and a half. Yeah, a month and a half. Yeah. I mean, you've been here every day that your hat has, has really <laughs> aged because it's been here so long. Yeah, it was right? new when I started. <laughs> Can I get one of those hats, Darren? <laughs> um, that's brilliant. So now you're going to take this... Well, we're going to leave this on, bring that back up to tonight, 
yeah. and just hold it while the glue is going off. And then take this off tomorrow. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to swing all this over to that one over there. Swing all this cradle and yeah. we're going to go over to that ball there. <gasps> oh no. Because that one needs a bit of a birthday as well. Yeah, so what are you going to do with that one? We're going to grab hold of it like this one uh -huh. and we're going to pick it up uh -huh. and see what the pin's like in underneath it. Because obviously if this pin was only six inches long, right. the likelihood of that one it being six inches long as well. Did, did you slice off the top there? No, that was all, that's, I took that off today, but obviously right. it, al it already um, It already cracked, cracked through. Off. So I see you're going to take it out, off and then check it, but yeah. we're probably going to have to do the exact same thing. Well, we mm -hmm. won't need to take the whole gate post down, you know what I mean? But yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah. But we're, we'll put um, a longer pin in because the difference between that um, saddle cusp, this one's yeah. in two pieces. Right. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And that one's that. in one. one. So obviously you could get away with a smaller fix. So is this all brand new? No, 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 no. no, no. no. Every, everything that was Just not looks good <laughs> yeah there's only one new piece of stone and a few stone repairs to do at a later date once the scaffold's out of the way so right, i can get right, to it easier exactly okay yeah no no it just looks amazing you've just it's you've done it so beautifully thank you darren that's why you are the best stone mason that there is okay brilliant well we may you know i'm so obsessed with these I mean, what are these balls called are they called the, something a finial it's a ball a ball a finial fi a finial a finial is yeah. that where does that come from? <laughs> I, I don't know where the terminology comes from. Is it, but it, is, is, it a, is it Latin? Um, to be honest, I okay, don't do, know. But a finial, how it, would you spell that? Just so in my head I have to visualize. F-I-N-A-L sort of thing. Okay, yeah. finial. Yeah. Finial or finial? Finial. Finial. Okay, I learned a new word yeah. today. This is what happens here at, Ma at Mapperton. I learn something new every single day. So a finial is now on the gate pier. That's right, yeah. I got it. <laughs> It's the final reveal of the Obasan rug. As you know, Doris was working on this and she has done a brilliant job. I'm sort of tiptoeing on it, but you can see, um, and Stephen will get a little bit closer, but you can see all of the holes have been repaired. So really mended properly, um, which is absolutely fantastic. What we did end up doing is we ended up sort of shifting it around a little bit um, because you can see that this is quite worn here and it's from the footfall of people. Of course, we put plastic down, uh, and but we've, uh, we want it, this is a little bit more fragile here. So we're, this is where uh, people won't go. Uh, and then when, when we do start opening up the house to tours, we're now going to, which we have done in the past, but I don't think, remember this is like 300 years old. Um, that we'll put down a piece of plastic here uh, when people walk through. So I'm just gonna be super careful, but I think it just looks, it. I can notice it 100%. There were just uh, so many holes from the footfall and they've all been repaired. And to be honest, it looks, I mean, it looks amazing. Doris did a fantastic job. It's all about repairs here as you know, but it's really exciting when repair um, is finished <laughs> and looks amazing. Right, Darren? Hiya. Hiya. So this is everybody, gate here. It's all been, it's all been fixed. It's yep. been repaired. It's been restored and it's been made much more sturdy. Yes, right. Yep. That's right. Yep. We basically, we've got bigger fixings in Yeah. for the holding the ball on. And we've got bigger fixings actually tying it into the wall, which you didn't have before. And we put a foot in and underneath it, which you never had before. Right. So in case another delivery truck ever hits this again, yeah. it will not fall no. down. <laughs> but what was in there before on the other side, holding yeah. the ball on, was that here. <gasps> no, that's it. That was it. That was it. Oh, you have it for me. Are you going to, is this a souvenir for me? Well, you can have it, like you say. <gasps> Oh my goodness, how old do we think this is? That's not so old as <laughs> is the one that was in this one, you know what oh I mean? God. But obviously yeah, yeah. It's, it's probably a good 50 years old. I'm so. all about, 50 years old, okay, yeah. so, so that it's older than me. So I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, I'm gonna take this as my, are you sure? Yeah, that's fine, that's yeah, fine. Cause what were you gonna do with it? No, it's only, it was only living in the van to, to show somebody. There you go, and it showed me, yeah. fantastic. So now it's a much bigger one, isn't um, it? Yeah, like you say, that one in there is a, probably a meter long. There you and go. the one over there is probably half a meter down through sort of thing. So okay. they're both on. Fantastic. I mean, it looks amazing. So you're just finishing up the pointing. Yeah, finishing up the fine detail of the joints and then we'll, we'll tone everything down 
to make sure it looks like um, no one's been ever been here. Sort right, of thing. that's right. And then I, I asked you this earlier, but I'm just going to, so then of course I was like, well, what about, is this the next repair? Well, it's, it's, it's all in the same part sort of thing, right. but obviously we repoint this once we got this one right sort of thing. Right, so exactly. So we'll, we'll fill that up and we'll repoint everything that's cracked and moved. And you couldn't do that until the scaffolding was down. No, no, because right. I couldn't see. Sort that's of right. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. So, yeah. And, and also, of course, I, not only do I love this, my souvenir, but I love that you can, you could see that before, I guess I just never noticed it. Well, we've, we've cleaned slightly the stones up by, by working them sort of thing, but now it's probably, they're a bit lighter, it's easier to see. It is easier to see, definitely. Once again, Darren, we're obviously incredibly grateful uh, for repairing the gate pier. Yeah, correct. <laughs> you got it right. And of course, um, you know, all the other repairs nice. that you do, because there's so many. Well, thank you for asking So me. do you ever leave here, really? Um, yes and no. Like I say, I've got other bits and pieces ongoing, you know what I mean? But at the moment, we, we, we seem to be um, here. We, we keep you pretty busy. Yeah. We keep you pretty busy. All right. Thanks, Darren. Okay, it thanks. looks fantastic. Thank you. Okay. I'm not a farmer, and therefore, I'm not going to get close to them. But that's just me <laughs> and everybody thinks I'm nuts <laughs> because of my fear of cows. <laughs> and I hope one day I can get past that fear and have the courage to get as close as Stephen and Claire are gonna get to. Bye for now.